Okay, um, it's been a good week of practice. I've been pleased with our guys' effort and their concentration and um, just having a solid week of prep. Uh, we'll have one more practice tomorrow before we get on the, the bus and the plane and uh, head to Mississippi, but uh, pleased with where we're at so far. I'm sure you've been seeing all of the buzz on social media about whether Cash Daniel intentionally hurt Kyle Trask or not. What's your take on the whole situation? Uh, we'll address those issues with the league office. So any sort of penalties or anything with the video? Okay. It'll be out there Saturday. You guys play a, a running game like the physical running game that Mississippi State has. Is it changing any preparation or is that just kind of what you prepare for each week? Well, no, it's de it's, this will definitely a, be a big test. I mean, they are definitely uh, a physical group and you know, be a, the toughest challenge we've had thus far as far as the physical nature of their run game. And I uh, have a lot of respect for their old line, tight ends, running backs. They, they really do a good job and being physical, and it sets up all their play action off of that. So uh, tough offense to defend. Did you and Cash have any one-on-one about that? Whatever you think of the incident, just yeah. about the... I, yeah, I'll keep that between Cash and I. Coach, if you thought a player intentionally hurt another player, you know, if there was enough evidence for you to see that, would there be repercussions within the team? Yeah, I mean, again, I'm not going to get into hypotheticals, um, but uh, I've addressed this issue and move on. Okay, how have your linebackers played? In general, I mean, nobody's going to intentionally hurt anybody, no. It's not going to happen on our team. But overall, how have your linebackers played? You're inside. I've, I've been pleased. Uh, I felt like this past game was uh, better, even more consistent, and uh, we we got to get Chris back in there. Th this last week, with the way he was taking reps with the nickel situation, that kind of hurt our rotation in there. So uh, we can't let that happen again. He's too good of a player. Got to continue to bring him along and get Chris's reps. Uh, but overall, I've been pleased with how we're playing inside, and I felt like this past week was one of our better games. Are you happy with Cordell, and do you think he's ready to take over kind of there at the start before we have a TJ side on there? Yeah, Cordell's been he, he's been active. He's been doing a good job. Um, as I mentioned, throughout the, the summer, we feel like we have some depth there. Obviously, we're starting to take a little hit, um, which never helps, but uh, pleased with uh, those guys and the way they're playing. In practice, did they bounce back emotionally the way you wanted to after they did. the tough loss? Yeah, they really did. I felt good about it. Um, you know, once we went in there Monday and have our meeting and, and, and you know, addressed it, and watched the film, and uh, we moved on pretty quick. You have to. And uh, it's way too early in the season. It's a long season. And uh, we have a lot of football ahead of us. Very difficult loss, but uh, it's time to move on. And, uh, and I've been pleased with the way they've done that. Some of your guys talked this summer about last year with the Tennessee game. There was a little bit of letdown after Georgia. You don't want to go through those experiences, but do you learn from them when something like that happens? You, you, you do. You learn from it a year ago, and I think different situation. Um, you know, that was much deeper into the season. You know, this is early on, and uh, and um, you know, so we've got to we got to move on quick. There's too much football left, and so um, you know, I feel like. You know, we did talk about it, but they were ready to go. Were you able to get any feedback, whether positive or negative, from the league office about the targeting stuff? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not, I can't, it's not worth it for me to talk about that. You know, it is what it is. Time to move on. You, you all fared really well against Kyle and Hill last year. Mm -hmm. Just what makes him tough to, to defend, and, and what do you think you can, can kind of build off from last year? Well, I mean, we're, we're you know, we get, we're physical and uh, we got a good group up front and, um, and, and uh, you know, we're playing pretty solid in, in the front seven. And, uh, you know, the, you look at this last week and really pleased with a, a lot of, of what those guys did on both sides of the ball up front. And, you know, you've heard me talk about it a bunch of times. If, you, if you're physical up front, it gives you an opportunity each and every week. Is uh, Xavier any closer to, to maybe being yeah, able to help he, you? You know, we'll see. We'll see. He's he's got some reps in there this week, and we'll see where it takes us. Looks like Tommy Stevens is going to start, or at least mm -hmm. that's kind of what it's been alluded to. But when Schrader comes in, does anything change? Do you have to prepare for the two quarterbacks this week? There's really not much difference. Uh, Tommy, you know, probably 
maybe a little bit bigger, you know, more of a different style, maybe a more physical runner. But the, the, the game plan really doesn't change much at all. Did, did Tommy visit here when he was looking? Uh, he did. Did you, I mean, what sense did you get what type of kid he is and that sort of thing? Yeah, I had a real good visit with Tommy. Uh, he and his dad were here and great people and uh, really, really good kid and, and uh, doesn't surprise me he's doing well. How are Phil and Taj doing? Uh, they're doing okay. Phil uh, will, will be probably not till after the bye and uh, Taj should be back uh, soon. You talked about your secondary on Monday. You said you thought they were okay, but after practice practice this week, how do you feel like you know where your secondary we're, is? We're, you know, we're a work in progress. The guys are working as hard as they can. We're mixing in different guys, and obviously you don't want to get short like we did last week, so trying to bring as many guys as we can. It's hard to get a, enough reps, but uh, they're working hard. Feel like you and the players have developed a tolerance for the cowbells yet? As you get head down there. Well, where you been? You don't think you've been here the past couple of days? <laughs> Nick yeah. finally let me uh, okay. come represent the team. Okay, but uh, if you came by the past two days, uh, they were rocking. It's gotten ready. We had them. We had them blasting the past couple of days to the point where it was 100% communication on hand signals. So uh, we had it pretty loud. And doesn't mean uh, we're going to be perfect, but we're going to try to be. So we've had good prep on it.